Well, let the church say amen. God bless everybody on this beautiful, blessed morning. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, actually, in this video, I want to come back and hit with Revelation 13 for a moment. And uh, I'm not going to go scripture by scripture because I'm going to post the old link on her with that video I already done. And to y'all that always follow along with Revelation, I call y'all the Revelation Riders. And we went through the whole, you know, 22 chapters. And uh, so I'm still coming back from time to time, coming at it from another angle. In this video, I want to just focus on um, verses 16, 17, and 18 in Revelation chapter 13. And you'll see in 16 when it talks about the poor. And um, the poor, the rich, you know, the receiving of the mark. And then it says that no man in verse 17, you know, might buy or sell unless they have that mark and the name, you know, the name of the beast. And we explained the mark, you know, whether it was physical or just being in the mind or whatever. And let me say this off top. Um, people ain't, people not waking up. This world is in confusion. War. Fame. And we see starvation all over. Diseases everywhere. Poverty. Ignorance. So on and so on. And I'm going to say this off the top. Whoever controls the money controls the country. And let me say it again. Whoever controls the money, that's who's going to control the country. So I want to come at it from a different angle so, you know, to bring it out a little bit more. I mean, look at the prices in the stores now. Gas prices. Look at how tight the banks are with the money. And you know one thing about banks, when the banks tighten up on their money, well, you know how they go. But you ever wonder who is controlling this recession? Now, all of a sudden, the money is gone. And y'all know my saying, yeah, the money gone, all right. It's just somebody that's putting their name on it. This New World Order, the NWO. You ever wonder when you look back how old the Bible is, but when you refer to scriptures like this, how did they know hmm, it was going to go down exactly like the way it's going down? And you still got people who don't want to believe. You look at Revelation 13, then you look at how they didn't even have the technology that they have now back then. Or we can say a lot of the stuff that we got now, they didn't have back then. But what was foretold? That's why Jesus said, I have foretold you everything. And when you think about Revelation 13 alone, it's deep. And this is why I want to tie it in from coming at it from a different angle. And you look at all this technology now. Now they have downgraded. They downgraded the American dollar, whether you want to believe that or not. After a while, dollars ain't going to be worth nothing. And you're going to have to buy they stuff. Y'all know who today is. Let me say it like this. If they downgrade the dollar all the way out, which look like what's going to happen, then you're going to lose your buying power. Think about it in the bank. Let's say, for instance, somebody got a million in the bank. And let's say 40% of that is taken. Well, you're going to lose $400,000. That's a lot of money. So with that coming like that, then it's going to be a whole lot of suicide going on. So I'm talking about what preachers ain't preaching in church. When you talk about revelation, people want to, you know, skip over it. That's why I say when people lose their money, they start killing themselves, a lot of them, because they don't know how to deal with it. A lot of rich people will jump off the building. They'll hang themselves. Just say if you if you only got $1,000 in the bank and 40% of oh, you'll lose about 400 of that. And I'm talking about losing this like overnight, people. Can you see this Bible? Can you see it now? That it's not a fairy tale. Can you see it? And everything you starting to buy, don't it look like it's getting more and more expensive? Matter of fact, look at what's going on in the Middle East. Don't you know they're trying to divide up Israel right now? And when you get to seeing Israel getting divided up in so many ways, then you need to really wake up. That's why I'm saying I'm saying all this to tie it in with the mark. That's why I explain that the mark, if it, it could be the belief in your head also. A lot of people might think it's a physical mark. It's however you look at it. You're not going to you know, get no argument out of me with that. It's however you look at the mark. But this is also why he told us to be wise as the serpent. When you think about those those um, those seven heads and ten horns on the beast, now we explained in the old video what the beasts are. 
You got to get past the symbol. Those seven heads is the seven nations, or some might say seven continents. Those ten horns, well, think about them ten horns. You think about the ten world leaders. The Antichrist is deep. Do you see how they're trying to divide up Israel once again? Satan gives power to the leaders. Now can you start to see? And he makes war with the saints. But you have to understand this false peace. This false peace that he's bringing in. Can you see it? Can you start seeing it in the spirit? I try to get folks to, which you can't really get nobody looking nothing like you look at it. So, I, But I try to get people to understand when you are studying, you have to study in the spirit. Don't just read. Pray and say, God, reveal to me what this means. And see, a lot of things we're not going to understand because God didn't tell us we was going to understand everything. But this is why Satan makes war with the saints. But, but according to, that's scripture. But according to most preachers, you already raptured out of there. See, the beast got a lot of people fooled already. He got a lot of people fooled. So when you think about this, Mark, fast forward and look at what's going on right now. Think about how you going to the gas station. It's almost full. Some of y'all, it's already over four dollars a gallon. We almost there. But look at look at how things are going up. Where the money is eventually look like it's going to be taken out of the way. This is why when you look at when Christ comes after the tribulation, you have to understand that that's why he have to cut that tribulation down because nobody would survive. It's almost possible where even the elect would almost be fooled. So you know God is not going to lie on his word. So I just want to come back and, and, and do this, especially when you focus back on uh, verse 16. It says, he calls it all both small and great and rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. But when you look at verse 18, the part that I love, he say, here is wisdom. Remember God saying, my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. He said, here is wisdom. Let him that had understand and count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6, which we all know, 666. Say the number 6, Christ's number is 7. But like I say, most people are fooled off of that already because they think that Christ comes in on the 6, but he comes in on the 7. And at the 7 is when we will be changed into our glorified body. So you can't make this Bible out of a liar. So think about your money. Say if you got a million in the bank. Just say if I, say how the, the value is going down of the dollar dollar bill. And 40% get hit with you overnight. Yo, you, you'll get 400000 already gone from your million. Just like that. And for people that don't have no money, if you ain't got but 500 or 600, maybe just say 1000 in the bank, just think about losing 400 of that just like that. Can you start to see what's going on? Because when the banks get to fooling around with money, like I said earlier, then you know what kind of shape we in. So do you believe this word right now? Do you believe it? Can you, can you see what's going on right now? Look in the Middle East. Can you see saints being murdered right now? Can you see people being killed for just toting the Bible right now? Can you see this tribulation that we are we are living in right now? Oh, yes, a lot of more things got to take place. I know this might scare some, some people, but I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just here to tell the truth and get out of the way. And with that truth being said, I'm going to get on out y'all way. God bless you. Stay on guard. Peace. Love you.